Well, from pharmaceuticals to something more natural. The University of Guelph is getting a government license to study so-called magic mushrooms and the psychedelic compounds that they contain. The license comes amid a growing interest in the potential benefits of magic mushrooms to treat a wide range of medical issues. Matt Ingram has more. Wellington resident Allison Murden has been using magic mushrooms to treat her physical pain for more than three decades. She has primary progressive multiple sclerosis and trigeminal neuralgia, which causes painful shocks on her face. I consume it in tea and then I eat the raw mushrooms. My pain is gone. My partner Gary Lynch has timed it within six minutes. In 2017, she says she became the first authorized patient in Canada to be treated with mushrooms with the support of her neurologist. The production, sale, and possession of magic mushrooms remains illegal in Canada, but Murden says she is authorized by her doctor to possess them and consume them. He was fully on board with everything. He knew that there were other answers other than pills for me decades ago. This bag contains about 200 grams of magic mushrooms, or about a half a pound. Now, Allison needs 50 grams a day to treat her medical issues, so really, this big bag, it's only going to last about four days. There are no approved therapeutic products containing psilocybin, the psychedelic compound within the mushrooms. So even though Murden says she is allowed to use them, she cannot purchase them from a legal source. That's my fight, Matt. Actually, I've been asking the government to be able to grow my own mushrooms legally because I don't want to get in trouble again. I'm a retired law enforcement officer. So again, until the government jumps on board and gives us a source, just like when we fought for cannabis decades ago, we need a source and we need that consistently. These are my little mushroom babies. I take lots of pride in them. Currently, there is renewed interest in studying how mushrooms could be used therapeutically, but... Until you have the dosage uniform and the type of material standardized, you can't conduct proper clinical trials. So University of Guelph professor Max Jones and PhD student Marco Pepe got a government license to cultivate any of the more than 200 varieties of magic mushrooms containing psilocybin and other psychedelic compounds. U of G is one of the first schools in Canada to get a license like this. We want to make it so that if you want to do some research, we'll have some mushrooms that are available. And if you wanted to test that again or reproduce someone else's research, you can access that same fungal material. The federal government says clinical trials on their use for mental health disorders like anxiety, depression, and substance abuse have shown promising results. There are nine ongoing clinical trials to test psilocybin's efficacy, one for physical pain and the rest for mental health disorders. Matt Ingram, CHCH News.